You know, I was just watching Sussex Squad Family TV and he was talking about Rebecca English and, you know, how she revealed Prince Harry's message to the British media, you know, with the trip to Colombia and how no one in the British media was allowed in. And for the life of me, I'm really baffled about how the British media has been reacting. And it, it seems really, really serious and really, really deep. They took it really personally that they were not allowed to go with Harry to Colombia. And to me, it just doesn't make sense until suddenly it makes complete sense, you know. Now, Rebecca English is a part of the Royal Rota. And the Royal Rota is this group of journalists and reporters who have first dibs on the royal family, all of the royal family news, the royal family members. You know, they get the insider tip titbits, they get first dibs, they get the exclusives. Um, you know, they get this by right. I mean, there is a there's an actual agreement between the royal family and the press, you know. It's called, and so they have this thing called a royal rota, and it's been that way for years. And when you think about it, this is the bread and butter of these journalists, you know, these royal experts. They, they are literally royal experts. They call themselves royal experts. They, that's their title. I mean, someone like Brian might call, Brian might call them the carnival of so-called experts, which I apparently, I think it was Megan who first said that. I don't really know. Don't quote me. But this is their bread and butter. This is their job. This is how they make their money. This is how they pay their rent. This is how they send their children to school. This is how they put food on the table. They're royal experts. This is their job. And when the job dries up, this is very, very, this is, this is a, this is, you know, it's not a tragedy, but it's a, it's a crisis. It is a very, very serious crisis. It's not a joke. You know, when, when you don't have a job, you don't have money to, to buy the basic things like food or pay your rent. It's very, very serious. And if you think about the current royal family at the moment, you can clearly see that at least some people in the royal rota no longer have work. They no longer have a job. Because first of all, you have this significantly reduced royal family. You know, two, three years ago, you had a Queen Elizabeth, you had a Prince Charles, you had Queen Elizabeth's husband, you had Prince Charles and Camilla, you had William and, and, and Harry, you had Kate, then you had Meghan, you had Andrew, you had Andrew's daughters, you had a little bit of Fergie, this, that, and an axe, right? You had people that these journalists could sink their teeth into, write stories, sell it to the various media outlets, make their money and eat, right? You kill what you eat or you eat what you kill, you eat what you kill. So it was a, like a kill, you know, they, they do their hit pieces or if it's not a hit piece, it's a, it's a love, love letter, whatever. But that's how they eat. That's how they make their bread and butter. All of a sudden you have a situation where there's nothing to write about. Think about it. There's absolutely nothing to write about. Queen Elizabeth is that. You can't continue to do stories about her death. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear about it. It's depressing. Forget it. She's gone. It's over, right? Her husband is gone. Andrew is gone because he needs to be gone. The British people will, will just pull the entire monarchy down if he's not out because of what he did. He's gone. So, so are his children and his ex-wife is like just this marginal character. Who cares? Anyway, he's gone. Um, Charles and Camilla are there, but they just absolutely are not newsworthy. It really doesn't matter how many times they go to Balmoral, how many times they go to wherever they go to, whatever trips they take, what Camilla wears. It, it's really just not selling papers. It's not juicy. It's not meaty. No one's buying it. No one's clicking. They're not making any money from it. The newspapers are like, is that all you got? Give me some exclusives. Give me something to talk about. Okay, so what are you left with? You are left with William and Kate. Kate, for the entire year of 2024, 
has been MIA and she has already sent out a communique that she's going to continue to be MIA for the rest of the year. Good luck if you see her in 2025. She's out. She doesn't want to do the job anymore. Without Kate, William is just blowing in the wind. I mean, he can't get his, you know, pudgy little paws into anything interesting enough to hold the public's attention other than his ongoing feud with his brother. His ongoing feud with his brother does sell papers, which is why he gives them what he gives them to keep this going because without it, they're going to turn on him. Like what what do we what do, why do we need y'all if we have nothing to talk about and write about? We can't make a living, right? That's why William continues to feed the journalists tidbits, right? Apparently that's what he's doing. I mean, I don't know this for sure, but that's what I've read, that he's feeding them tidbits, right? So, you know, who is left for these people to write about so that they can make a living? There's nobody left, you guys. Think about it. There is absolutely nobody left but Harry and Meghan. And so when Harry and Meghan go off on trips, this is a big deal. It's like meaty. It's juice. It's clicks. Megan's outfits alone, that they can tear that apart and talk about that, will get clicks. People care about what Megan is wearing. They just do, right? They care about what Harry and Megan are doing together. They care about where they're going. They care about who is inviting them and why. This is the biggest story in the royal family for the whole year, are Harry and Megan's trips. And then Harry and Megan are going to ban these reporters from the Royal Rota who already are hungry, who have nothing else, they have nothing else. This is their job. This is why they are reacting this way. They're not kidding about it. They are in free fall over in UK because there's nothing to write about. The Royal family have left the Royal Rota high and dry with nothing to write about which is why they turn to Harry and Meghan for their material so that they can write. That's what they do. They write for a living. They're journalists. They write for a living. They report for a living, right? So when Harry and Meghan lock them out of that too, and that being the most interesting thing going on in the whole family combined, the journalists are very, very angry. Now they're talking about getting Harry out of the line of succession because he's just not cooperating, right? What do you think about that?